a prepared wander out in the woods today and uh, gonna do a little bit of a different video today today I'm gonna be scouting out a new spot and I'm gonna take you guys along and kind of talk about what I'm looking for and why I'm out here so stick around But back in this new spot <clears throat> and uh, so far I'm really liking it it's uh, easy access off a road only problem is there's a little bit of uh, background noise going on right now with cars driving by it's not that remote but the uh, nice thing is this is not a really well used area in the wildlife area that I film at kind of off the beaten path it's um doesn't look like it gets used very much but there's this huge opening out here which would be awesome for a place to set up a stealth camp or just come back here and do my filming for the day the reason i'm looking for a new spot is because the spot that i normally film at is flooded and has been flooded for quite some time so it's time to find a new spot. Um, see if there's something that's a little bit more dry and easy to access. And it looks like I'm coming up on a water area up here. Looks like it might be flooded up here. Can you hear the cars? That's the only problem. It's real close to the road. Perfectly straight tree. Taken down. Looks like the it died and the flood waters got to it. Tipped it over. Shotgun shell. It's old though. There's definitely been some hunting back here. You know, one thing I always look for. When I'm coming out to the woods is a place to sit down and if I can find a nice spot to sit down that's a great place for me to do some filming because then I can lay out what I'm working on and show you all the gear that I have and it just gives me a place to relax a little bit and um, try not to do it on the ground where it's full of bugs and dirt and all that good stuff but um, the, these woods have excellent seats as you can tell look at this tree it's huge gigantic 
So I thought since I showed you where I'm scouting at, I probably should show you what I'm carrying because that's important too. This is a scouting kit that I put together based on uh, the Maxpedition uh, Jumbo Pack. It's in their Legacy line. If you check out Maxpedition.com, they'll have um, a whole line of their older packs that they've had forever. This Jumbo Pack, I think, was one of the first packs they probably even designed, and it's still in their lineup which I think is a testament to how versatile and good this pack is and how well received and liked it is. People love this pack. Um, uh, it's just a great shoulder bag, haversack type bag. I've had, I've had a lot of these in the past. Uh, I got this one recently to try out because I wanted to compare it to their newer pack, which is the Wolf Spur. In their AGR line, and the Wolf Spur is a completely redesigned jumbo, um, but still has some of the same features as the old jumbos do. So I thought what I'd do is I go over this pack with you real quick and just show you the contents, and we'll go from there. All right, so let's go through the pack real quick. Stainless steel water bottle, SOS Outdoors, perfect product for this application. Um, check them out. I'll have a link down below for their store. Uh, the top pocket, have nothing in it right now, but this is really a nice pocket for carrying like binoculars or sunglasses. Of course, it has a Velcro loop field on top for your patches. Uh, Velcro loop field down here, pocket in the lid. I just keep a lighter and um, Burt's Bees in there, something quick access. Side pocket. Nice side pocket right here, has, it's nice and deep, you can put a knife in there, like a Mora or something. On the side pocket I've got my SOS Fire Kit, and my Leatherman Sidekick. Of course the Jumbo is really designed as a CCW pack, or CCW friendly, so in case you want to carry a pistol you can. Um, goes back in this, this is a quick zip pocket and if you look inside there there's velcro so you can put a holster I've just got my knife in there that I'm carrying for the day main flap opens up you got another stash pocket I've got some duct tape in there it's a big front pocket it's pretty deep got a notebook sharpie pocket compass, and uh, my Petzl headlamp. And then kind of a unique feature to this bag is this collar, what they call a storm collar. So you can cinch this up as much as you need to. Like that, fold that over. And it helps keep that the water from going inside the main part of your pack. And here I've got a bandana, gloves, first aid kit, water purifier, filtration system, tourniquet. Couple hunks of 550 cord. Spork. That's the new Uco Spork, titanium spork. Mylar blanket. And then my work sharp pocket sharpener. So as you can see, I got quite a bit of stuff in here. And it's all stuff that I can I can utilize during the day as I'm hiking. Um, don't need a lot, but it's nice to have the essentials with you. Either if you follow the ten essentials or the you know the five C's that Dave Canterbury uses, the ten C's, whatever. You've got that ability with this bag. It, it holds all that stuff very well. And of course, the unique feature on this on this pack is that it has a nice side pocket for a water bottle dedicated so you're not taking up internal space to your pack with a water bottle you got something that carries on the outside and then there's molly field right here up on the shoulder straps shoulder strap 
padding that's removable and of course adjustable grab handle and then another unique feature to the newest line to this new um, pack is it has a removable waist strap and that's where that goes right there I've, I've taken mine off I don't use it but um, nice padding on the back so overall it's a really nice well laid out bag very organized lots of pockets uh, if you like lots of organization in your bags then this is a, definitely a pack for you and of course with all Maxpedition gear they're really well made solid stitching um, it's made from a very heavy duty nylon with a polyurethane coating of some sort that um, really keeps this thing um, water resistant uh, to a point that you know you can pour water look at that it just beads right up so just brush that off and it's completely dry inside it does not soak through so that's that's a good feature I think all right so I just wanted to sh quickly show you my scouting kit that I'm carrying today and as always please like subscribe and share and we will see you next time on the prepared wanderer